Number 1. The Green Gatto. We finally got a chance to try this place for dinner. It was so good, we went back the next morning to eat breakfast. Menu is delicious and the staff was super friendly. We were there for my daughter's graduation from UNL and could not have selected a better place. They have a huge back room as well for private large gatherings. Number 2. Lead Belly. Enjoyed a great meal here with friends following a movie, yes, people still go to movies. Great atmosphere on a Saturday night. First time I've tried the Smokehouse Mac which was tasty, creative mac and cheese. Our friend really enjoyed the light fish and chips. The full leaded jacket made with cinnamon rolls is always a winner. Number 3. Laszlo's Brewery and Grill. We love Laszlo's. Part of that is that it is good, part is that my wife and I used to go there shortly after the place opened when we first started dating, a long time ago. It is a brewery, but we never really went for the beer so I'm not going to comment on that. I think their beer is not memorable. The service is always very good. Number 4. Vincenzo's Ristorante. While in Lincoln for the US National Figure Skating Championship we had our first club dinner here. I had made reservations a few weeks before for large party and throughout the time had other conversations to finalize. They were so accommodating for a large party. Especially when dealing with multiple checks. Everyone enjoyed their dinner and an enjoyable dinner was had by all. Number 5. The Oven. Visited Bath for one night stayed at Hotel Z. Just across in the square was a pizzeria The Oven. Even though it was busy it took only 5 minutes max for us to be seated in a Friday night without a booking. From beginning to end staff were friendly and helpful with a smile. A server Tamara was very helpful and suggested what would best suit us after my partner described what she was looking for. Number 6. Laszlo's Brewery and Grill. We arrived late at the Hampton but need a bite. My husband and I were able to walk to the restaurant. We each had a beer and ordered takeout. The naked nachos, onion rings with the garlic dipping sauce and the apple crisp a la mode were all delicious. The server did a great job packaging our to-go order, including bagging the ice cream separately. Number 7. Rodizio Grill. We were a bit after lunch and a bit before dinner for our visit, so I almost felt as if food might not be up to standard fare as it was before. It ended up being okay and there were a few things I kept going back for. Soup? It is an experience if you've not experienced a Brazilian-type steakhouse before, but you have to bring your appetite to make it worthwhile. Number 8. Venue Restaurant and Lounge. Our six top of seniors were accommodated easily. Our waiter was prompt and helpful throughout the meal. Lunch entrees were Angus Burger, Turkey Sandwich, Two Club Sandwiches and Italian Beef Sandwich. All were rated very good as were the two orders of fries and the sides of grilled asparagus, sautéed mushrooms and house salads. Number 9. Piedmont Bistro by Venue. We met at this restaurant for brunch before a capital tour. Although they were busy and had a 30-minute wait, I had arrived early and it fit our schedule for those driving in from out of town. They only had outdoor seating for our group of five, but weather was great, so it was quite pleasant. Menu offered both breakfast and lunch items. Number 10. Blue Sushi Sake Grill. I grew up eating a lot of sushi and I can't believe this place is in the middle of the country. It's some of the best sushi and sashimi I've ever had. This place has a great patio area and a variety of Japanese fusion food. We have been back several times and it never disappoints. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.